Alright. Let's talk about it. What's up guys? Jake Dorn64. And as you can see, <clears throat> that's probably why I got a little frog in my throat this morning. Or this afternoon. Evening time in Louisiana. A nice good spray to end the day. We had the third and final, could possibly be the final presidential campaign from last night. And for people, for older folks, older folks, I'm 40, let's say 35 and up, just paid attention at all to presidential campaigns at all through their life. I remember Reagan being in office and Bush Sr. And regardless of who they were and what they'd done, when they stood on stage in front of the world, basically, at least they had a little bit of respect for themselves and a small amount of respect for the candidate standing to either side if you're old enough to remember those days where candidates at least on TV they might dog each other in campaigns but this thing got to the point now where it's just plum it's silly it's silly it's literally a three ring circus of who could chop the other one who's better than the other Election time is 20 days away. The great election of 2016 is a fluke. It's a three ring circus at, at best. They're just ripping on each other on social media. They have no couth, no respect. They even, I mean, they look like, they look like third graders fighting over a crayon. sad part is that's gonna one of those people are gonna be the next leader of our supposedly free world <laughs> and that's a whole nother video and you're gonna spend your time November 5th driving to the election polls and you're gonna be voting for the one that you think that, that is best fit and if you've looked at all if you paid attention at all both of them I, I, I'm not voting for neither one of them <laughs> I'm not wasting my time or my gas to go vote for a system that I don't agree with I know I've talked about this in, in a hundred other videos but if you don't believe you should <sighs> this is the presidency of the United States this ain't Joe Blow's uh Police juryman, you know what I mean? This is the leader of the free world. <laughs> and it's just a joke. I mean, it's a it's hard to watch. Have I gave up on the system? Oh man. It's pretty it's pretty telling at this point if you're paying attention. Tax rates are I went to go get a loan from the bank the other day. Oh yeah, I need a check stub. Oh, I don't got a check stub. You don't have a check stub? No, why? I don't believe in the system. So why should I bust my ass, get up, set my alarm clock every morning for at the end of the week for you to tax me 30% of my wages? I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm not no better or worse, but I'm just, I don't, I don't trade like that. <laughs> honest days work for honest days pay. Don't tax me in between. And that's how I feel about it. And that's that's perfectly okay with me. Whoever gets in, they're screwed either way. Trump gets in, well, now would be a good time to crash the economy because look how jacked up it is at almost $20 trillion. <laughs> 
20 trillion not $25, $20 trillion. That's one past a billion. We're 20 trillion in all. <laughs> I can't say it without laughing of how far fetched that is. Oh, deck clock still spinning. I promise you it is. But hey, man, somebody in a lab somewhere is trying to monkey to drink out of a sippy cup for $10 million. At some point in our near future, America is going to wake up to the fuckery. Now, I knew I was going to end up saying it before it was over with. Fuckery. Of your dollar of the food you eat, the chemtrails in the sky. school system the reason you get up out of bed to go earn a dollar all that's got to come to a head for long because they've been bullshitting millions of people for decades the realization of the dollar I gotta find the organic aisle at the grocery store why can't it all be organic <laughs> you know why can't it why can't we put our money back by gold and back by a pecan tree you know it's not even worth that I want you to think about it before you go to the ballot box next month I want you to ask yourself, do you believe, do you full heartedly believe in either one of the candidates? I think if you really sat down and put your mind to it, you're not going to, you're going to vote for the lesser of two evils. Donald Trump didn't get to be Donald Trump by being Jake Thorne 64. Or being the next guy. Or being the next guy. Luckily, he come from a little money. And he screwed his way and manipulated the system to get to where he's at today. System just don't benefit you and I. Never has, never will. So, I'm a, uh, that's my little rant and rave about the debate. I'm not going to vote. I'll say it again. I'm not going to vote because I don't believe in the system that I would be going to vote for. And I don't believe in ass clowns. Trey Gowdy's about the only dude in Washington that's halfway legit. And he ain't there just because he's a good guy. I don't believe, I don't see any good in any politicians. Let's state that for the record. I don't see any good in any politicians that are above state level or actually below, I mean above uh, and Louisiana Parish level. Once you get past that, let's pay this boy off and get what we need, boys. We need this contract this year. Who pays for it? We do every time we do so that's where I'm at <clears throat> I'm not going to vote you can do whatever you like I want you to think about the reason why you're standing there and I want you to think deep down in your heart is that what you believe in do you believe in this dude do you believe in this woman and it's not about man and woman it's about who's the lowest of the criminal chain. Well, Trump's the lowest on the criminal chain, but he's got some criminal in him. Or he wouldn't be in the position he's in. Clinton's worth over $100 million. She's been a career politician. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, so let me go ahead and say this. I left this out. For all you ones that are say, hey man, you ain't got no, you ain't got no opinion. You ain't gonna go vote. 
the First Amendment says I can say whatever I want, my friend. I can tell you to cram that election straight up your ass <laughs> and laugh in your face about it. So, yeah, the ones that got something to say about that, I say take it up. I say take it up with my Second Amendment. I mean my First Amendment. If you still got a problem, we'll get to the second. Because if me going and voting for the lesser of two evils was so important, it would override the First Amendment. And it would probably override the Second Amendment. So, for all the... Come on, man. I say First Amendment. <laughs>